Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we view anything and everything. And today we're getting into a exercise ball for little um, critters, if you will. It's not easy to get this whole thing on screen. Here, I've adjusted the angle a little bit to see if this helps. Um, it's very big. I didn't think it was going to be this big. It said 11.5 inches. For some reason, I didn't think it was going to be as big as it is. And it is massive. So, um, but this is for guinea pigs. So I guess it is going to be very comfortable for them. But I also didn't want it to be too big because um, I know that when it comes to movement around the area, if it's too big, you know, then um, I don't know if they're going to bump into things as big, you know, as much because it doesn't give them as much maneuverability. So right here it says for rats, chinchillas, and other small animals. Um, they have different sizes. Link's going to be in description for you guys to purchase this on Amazon. Now, <clears throat> the smaller ones, they had like 7-inch and whatnot. I think after looking at this, I probably should have gone with a 7-inch, which probably would have been roughly about this size. So a ball like that. And that probably would have been a little bit better, though my guinea pigs are actually pretty big. But um, at the same time, uh, I think that would have been more manageable for floor room and floor space see if we can rip into this now i chose this one because the reviews actually were very good there were something over ten thousand reviews and they were in the four and a half star range so it really kind of cater to at least that security of knowing that a lot of people liked it. The reason why I say that is because there were some, and this went for about $25. There were a few other ones on there that were half the price and the reviews were pretty bad. So um, like three stars and whatnot. So that was definitely something that I didn't want to go with. Now let's see if this is relatively easy to lock and load. I'm going to try to line everything up on each side and looking making sure everything looks to be aligned so you can just spin it and make sure these things fall into their place and once you've done a full 360 let's see if you can just pop it together so far it's not going that way i'm hoping that i have it in the right way it looks like it So one thing I don't want to do is totally break this thing. But um, okay, there we go. So I guess you can put your fingers like here and just push down into it. So I'm learning this as you guys watch it. So this should be helpful for you guys to understand and know that this is how it goes. It's a little tough though, because once certain things start misaligning all at the same time it gets a little tough but if you can kind of get them all lined up correctly there we go another thing too is this one is pink but the other one i ordered and i think the colors are random because i didn't order a specific color the other one is purple and the reason why this can be important is because my guinea pigs are two males and they got to the point where they can't be in the same cage with each other because they like to fight each other now. Um, you want to kind of know which one is which one's um, ball because what will happen is I'm going to guess based on what I see when, I'm, when I swap out their cages every now and then. Um, I did an experiment where I would let one sit inside a certain cage for a certain time that I'd swap them. And they'd start marking their territory all around the environment. They know that the other one was in the tank. So I say that to say you may want to have one for each and make sure that they stick with that same one that they're in each time. So let's see, it tells us right here to open it. We turn it counterclockwise. 
the lock is clockwise. So are we already in the open position? It's not opening. So let's try to turn. Okay, there was still more tape that I didn't see. So there's two pieces of tape. There we go, it opens up. So what I'm gonna do really quickly, I hope I don't end up getting a mess on my table. What I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna try to lay something down on the table if I can. I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna throw one of the guinea pigs in here. So we're back. And we're gonna lock them in. Let's see, turn clockwise to lock. And here goes now. Got a little bit of cardboard down here just to make sure that he doesn't there's you know the little holes in it so he might pee on himself and i don't want it to get all over the place but here you can see the scope and the size to my guinea pig now this one his name is jelly bean and um yeah, he's not used to being in these at all he's never been in one of these but you see the size now he's a pretty sizable guinea pig he's pretty fat I've had guinea pigs in the past that aren't this big. He's very big. So this for him might, even though I thought this would be kind of too big, it might really kind of work for him because I forget how big he is. And his um, his uh, brother, we're going to call him his brother because they're both separate. They, they weren't brothers by birth. But the other guinea pig is roughly about the same size as well. Um, his name's Chris. And so generally speaking, Yes, you can see here his size, definitely, this is probably a comfortable size for him, even though it's very huge. So I just wanted you guys to be able to see that, um, just to give for size reference. This right here is a pen, a regular standard pen. And that is it, you guys. So as always, you guys, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.